The Chair of Parliament's Health Committee says it's too early to gauge the support or otherwise of the more than 21,000 written submissions received on a petition about a person's right to end their life. The Health Committee will be hearing submissions later this month on the petition from the former Labour MP Marion Street. The petition asks that Parliament investigate public attitudes towards the introduction of legislation that would allow medically assisted dying in New Zealand. The Health Committee Chair Simon O'Connor says they've received more than 21,000 written submissions on the petition and a near record 1,800 of those people would like to speak to the committee. 1,800 is a hell of a lot. I asked the Committee Chair Simon O'Connor how they're going to do that. Look, the committee's uh, first principle is to try and engage what the petitioners have asked for, which is full engagement, and to respect, obviously, Kiwis who have uh, made their voices heard. So we're going to do our best to hear all of those who still wish uh, to be heard. We'd expect some will drop off, but actually the committee has quite a number of sitting weeks. We intend to travel around the country uh, for full days of uh, hearings, and there's a few other parliamentary processes we can use to actually help us through that so that we don't all age uh, too much. Have you any idea of what way the submissions are going? It's not clear to me at the moment. I've been skimming through them, but I have to say, in just that cursory glance from my side, it's not, it's not clear uh, to me. What does your cursory glance tell you about the strength of feeling people have on both sides of the fence? Look, I'd say both sides, um, and those in the middle too, do feel this really strongly. Lots of personal stories uh, being shared again from uh, both sides and then those in the middle uh, often in say support but are wanting safeguards or those against but seeing hey that there could be uh, exceptions but yeah very strongly felt. So Simon what's your mandate? What is the committee trying to come back with? Yeah ultimately the committee uh, wants to come back with a report so this fundamentally is a petition so uh, the Honourable Marion Street and about 9,000 <laughs> others uh, signed a petition. So our, our first principle is to make sure we can go back to them and say, look, we've uh, acknowledged what you've asked for, a full engagement with the public, um, and here's, here's our response. This is what we've heard, and we want to feed that back, not just to the petitioners, uh, but to the parliament as a whole. So, so, Simon, so at the end of this, nothing, potentially nothing may happen? Uh, that's our potential. There's a whole array of options, but I think it's important uh, for listeners in particular to understand this is not uh, a piece of legislation. This is not a bill under consideration. This is a select committee uh, looking into a, a topic, as it does in a, a range of areas, but in this case around assisted uh, suicide. Yes, often though, when a select committee is looking at a topic, it's after a first reading, right? Mm, indeed. And so you're heading somewhere, potentially, in the ends, you may be heading nowhere here. Look, there are absolutely multiple avenues. The other th thing is, of course, it may head to make a series of recommendations uh, to the Parliament to say, look, this is what we've heard. We think the government and the, the Parliament as a whole should be doing X, Y or Z. So nothing's an option. Lots of recommendations is an option and everything in between. Do you think something has to be done? Do you think that there needs to be some greater clarity, a move, a change, a new law? What, what's your personal sense of this? Yeah, look, my, my personal views, as separate from chairing the committee, um, has been pretty clear and transparent from the start, and so far as I'm an opponent um, of assisted suicide, I don't believe uh, in physician-assisted suicide or euthanasia, so I don't think there needs to be a law change, uh, but I will see that there's a need for greater conversation, so I think this is actually something quite positive overall. Does your opposition come from your faith? You're a Catholic, right? I am a Catholic. It's not a faith thing in the first instance. Um, I've spent a lot of time uh, studying everything from ethics to human rights and philosophy, and also a lot of time actually around people who are dying. So I suppose <laughs> fusing those two elements together has brought about my um, opinions. So they're not ideological, they're something that have formed over a long time. Uh, but I've always made the distinction this is not uh, primarily a faith um, issue for me. Okay, so I suspect everyone listening has an opinion too. So you're certainly not alone in that respect, but no. you are the head of the select committee. Will you be able to be dispassionate, I guess, in your final assessment of the pros and cons, the rights and wrongs? Let's make a couple of distinctions insofar as it's certainly dispassionate um, and objective when it comes to running the, the process. But I think there's an expectation that all nine MPs bring their thoughts, beliefs, philosophies uh, to the table, obviously to engage and listen, uh, and then actually think through what we've heard so we can articulate that back uh, to the Parliament. But again, it's that difference between uh, 
in my case, elected to Parliament because of what I think and believe, as with the others, but also as a chair to act, as you say, dispassionately and make sure all those who have written in and wish to speak do get heard and have their voices heard very clearly. Simon O'Connor speaking from our gallery office early this afternoon.